people will come to church and when they come to church they give religiously by the way doesn't it surprise you that we don't have pastors prophet we don't have pastors like jesus Jesus is the only pastor when he comes to church he's interested in the offering basket Jesus is the only pastor I knew who sat by the offering basket counting how much everyone is giving imagine prophet Tuso does that you write on him you post on facebook it will be a media frenzy jesus he knows we have got kingdom business and kingdom business is driven by money. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. By the way, can, can we push this? Doesn't it surprise you that Jesus didn't have broke friends? Wow. I know people who have not read the Bible are thinking, but he's God. He loves everyone. Check all his friends. Check everywhere he ate a meal. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Do you know who his friends were? You remember a short man by the name of Zacchaeus? He loved to eat with the wealthy. Because he knew the purpose of kingdom wealth. He knew if you turn one wealthy man. Do you know that the gospel has been misrepresented because of money? Do you know when Jesus died and he rose, the guards reign to tell the Pharisees, he has risen. We saw what happened. He has risen. Do you know what the Pharisees did? They took Two million pullers each. And they hammered all of them. All of them. And told them, keep quiet. Never say this. Say, his disciples came and took him. So money rewrote the story of the resurrection. Do you know that all the vibrance of Peter, John, all the disciples, they could not bring Jesus from the cross. The spirituality of Peter couldn't bring Jesus from the cross. It took Joseph of Arimathea, a wealthy man who eats on the same table with Pilate. And he went boldly to say, I'm a disciple of this man. I was waiting for this kingdom. Give me the body and I'll put it in my own tomb. I pray deliverance is taking place. My deliverance, listen, my deliverance is different. When I teach, you are being delivered as you are hearing. Amen. You must understand the grace and my anointing. As I speak, what you are hearing, things are being broken. Amen. There is a shift in your mentality. Amen. Look at the two sisters and their brother rich people Mary Martha look at the women the women who surrounded him give me Luke 8 people need to see this Luke 8 verse 3 Luke 8 let's start it even from verse 1 so that you understand why the money is being released yes sir because if we don't start it from verse 1 you think it's just about money yes sir 
Luke 8 verse 1. Can we read this? Please, man of God. After this, Jesus traveled about from one town and village to another, mm. proclaiming the good news of the kingdom of God. The twelve were with him. Verse 2. And also some women who had been cured of evil spirits and diseases, many called Magdalene, from whom seven demons had come out. Verse 3. Johanna, the wife of Cusa, the manager of Herod's household, Susanna, and many others, these women were helping to support them out of their own means. Are you hearing that? Yes, sir. Jesus has got an assignment and a mandate to preach the kingdom of God. And there arises a group of people who say, we are going to fund it. Say where you want to go, we pay for it. Say what you want to build, we build it. Pastor, don't be burdened about money. You have us. You just have a vision. You just connect with God. When you get what God is giving you, us we will supply whatever is needed. Can I shock you? In the kingdom, when you look at the template in the beginning, yes, sir. they never took offerings. When the kingdom church began in yes, the book of Acts, yes, sir. they never took offerings. Shock me, sir. When you are not kingdom, you think what you have is yours. <laughs> when you are not kingdom, yes, sir. You think what you have is yours. When you're not kingdom. And that's why I said they love it not to be kingdom. Because if it is not kingdom, then it means these things are ours. But if it's kingdom, it means they all belong to the king. Amen. Please, I want you to get this. Yes, sir. If it is kingdom, yes, sir. in a kingdom, everything belongs to the king. Yes, sir. But if you are in a religion, your car is yours. Your house is yours. Your money is yours. Your body is yours. Everything you have around you, it's yours. It's my thing. Because you are in a religion. But when you enter kingdom, yes, sir. everything belongs to the king. Everything. Your life. Listen, the, the thing is this. In church, we have people who want to be wealthy, but... They have never given their heart to God. Give me Psalms 49 verse 20. Let me show you what happens when you are trying to deal with wealth and your heart is not with God. Psalm 49 verse 20. A man who has riches without understanding is like the beasts that perish. Read it again. Actually, let's read all of us. One, two, three, let's go. A man who has riches without understanding is like the beasts that perish. When you don't know what we are talking about, the Bible says you are like an animal. In church, born again, but a dangerous animal. Please, it's not Pastor Manasseh. Can we read again? One, two, three, let's go. A man who has riches without understanding is like the beasts that perish. Awesome. Meaning, understanding is the foundation that opens you up to wealth. Give me Proverbs 17, verse 16. Proverbs 17, verse 16. 
Proverbs 17, 16. Mm -hmm. Of what use is money in the hand of a fool? Mm. Since he has no desire to get wisdom. Read that one again. Of what use is money in the hand of a fool? Since he has no desire to get wisdom. Church, let's read together. One, two, three, let's go. Of what use is money in the hand of a fool? Since he has no desire to get wisdom. What that means is if you are not kingdom and money comes your way, you will destroy. Of what use? What is the use of wealth in your hands? You don't have the wisdom of the kingdom. Why must God prosper you? You don't have the wisdom of the kingdom. Why must God give you wealth? You don't have the wisdom of the kingdom. The Bible says, of what use is money in the hands of a fool? Why? He has no desire to get wisdom. Like the saying goes, a fool and his money is one big party. A fool and his money is one big party. 